Hello everyone. In today's class, we will discuss about algebraic expressions and identities. So before starting, uh, I just want to uh, want you to recall two uh, concepts of constant and variable. You know uh, that a constant is something which has a fixed value. Okay. If I say a number, say 13, 13 has a fixed value. Okay, it will not change. But if we say something like x, so x may take any value in any question. Okay, value of x will change accordingly. So x will be a variable. Okay, we denote variables generally by some alphabets. Okay, so these are the two things the constant and variable that we should be familiar with to continue with our today's topic which is algebraic expressions and identities okay so first let's discuss about uh, some topics some definitions okay which will be uh, in uh, need okay first one is that algebraic expression okay so algebraic expression the, the idea we have already got in our previous standards in class 6 or 7 okay so algebraic expression is nothing but combination of constants and variables okay which are connected by the four basic arithmetic operation that is addition subtraction multiplication and division okay let's just write the definition the algebraic expression is nothing but we'll write in a simple way hmm. a combination of constants and variables connected by the four basic arithmetical operations that is addition subtraction multiplication and division okay so if we have to take an example of an algebraic expression we can take what we need we need constant and variable and these four operations so can we write 3x plus 7 what we have here we have variable x we have constants 3 and 7 and we have this arithmetical operation the symbol of addition okay so this can be an example of algebraic expression so few more we can take say 12 x minus 5 this also can be an algebraic expression okay so if you want uh, we can take some more like 5x by 2 okay here we have a variable we have constants and we have division okay so these are all examples of algebraic expression now we will talk about terms terms are nothing but various parts of let's just uh, write the definition first they are the parts of algebraic expression which are separated by either plus or minus So terms are nothing but the parts of algebraic expression which are separated by plus or minus. Let us take an example. If 
we have say 4x minus 1 so we have minus here and this minus separates 4x and 1 4x and 1 these are the two terms of this whole expression this expression has how many terms two terms this one is one term this is another term okay so if you take an, another example say 5a plus 3b minus 4c here we have three terms separated by plus and minus 5a is the first term 3b is the second term and 4c is the third term so individually they are called term this 5a 6b and this 4c okay we can take another example say we have 5xy plus uh, 7 y minus z okay so here what we have this is the first term 7 y is the second term and z is the third term because they are separate by this minus and plus okay so like this we, we can have one term only or we can have two terms, we can have three terms, we can have as many as terms we want. So if I write that like 3ab, in this algebraic expression it has only one term because none of the 3 or a or b are separated by plus or minus. Okay, so we can consider it only one term now we'll discuss about like and unlike terms suppose we have an algebraic expression say 2ab minus 7 c plus 5 a b plus say 14 c first of all you tell me how many terms are here this 1 2 3 and 4 here we have 4 terms so out of these 4 terms we can see that this first term and this third term they have same variable part okay here also we have a b here also we have a b apart from the constants apart from the constants we can see that the variables are same here here we have a b and here also we have a b so these two terms are called like terms where the variable parts are same whereas if you talk about the second term and the third term here we have c and here we have a b which are not same so these two terms can be called unlike terms Similarly, this term and this term will be what? Unlike terms because they are literal part or the variable part is not same. Okay. So this is what like terms and unlike terms are.